today we're going to learn how to make shapes using programming. Today we're going to go ahead and start by going to codepen.io and once you arrive there, go ahead and click pen. That's going to create a new pen for you. Now the language we're going to be using is SVG. So my title is going to be drawing shapes with SVG. So we can go ahead and get started. First thing I'll do is create an SVG tag. So here's my tag and just like any HTML tag, I have to end it as well. So remember to open tags, you have to put this less than sign and greater than sign. To close the tab, you need to put less than slash the name of the tag and then the greater than sign. Now, let's say we want to make our SVG element a bit bigger. So I'm going to give it a width of 500 and a height of, let's see, 200. Okay, great. Now let's get started drawing some shapes. First shape I'll draw is a circle. So I'm going to go ahead and type circle. And to define a circle, we need a couple of things. Number one, we need its X coordinate, the X coordinate of its center. That's why you write CX, center X coordinate. So let's say I make that 250. And let's make the center Y coordinate 100. We also need to give our circle a radius. So let's make it, let's say 25. Now the last thing we need to do is end our code. And I'm gonna put a slash, and that will resolve the red error you saw there. And there you go, there's my circle. Great, we drew a circle, now a rectangle. So type rect to create a rectangle. It's gonna have an X position, so let's say uh, 50. A Y position, maybe 100. Um, it's gonna have a width, let's say 100. And it's gonna have a height, which we can make 50. And I'm gonna end my rect tag as such. And let's see if our rectangle pops up. There you go, there's your rectangle. Now you are gonna make, um, well, it's up to you, but I'm gonna make an ellipse. An ellipse has a couple of things. Number one, it's gonna have um, the size of the major axis. So let's make that, uh, I don't know, 120. Let's make the size of the minor axis al along the vertical. Let's make it 60. And let's put some positions here as well. Uh, we can make that x um, 40 and y equals 80 and we can end that tag right there so now you're noticing hey the ellipse doesn't move but what if i try cx and cy for center x and center y and now the ellipse moves because you're moving the ellipse's center right it's uh, the the midpoint of its two foci so let's say I make that CX a bit bigger. Let's make it 100. And that's gonna move the ellipse a bit. Uh, I'll make it 400. And that's gonna put my ellipse all the way over there. Um, I don't want it too far to the right. So I'm gonna move it a bit to the west. So there you go. But now it seems like it's blocking my circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my circle a little bit to the left. Okay, so it's heading west and there you go there's my circle so i've got a bunch of elements here a circle a rectangle and ellipse let's make a line a line is going to have an x1 y1 x2 y2 in other words it's going to have two points right two points to find a line so let's define the x coordinate to be 20 and the y coordinate to be 50 i mean we're just making up numbers here let's make that x2 coordinate 100 and y2 coordinate uh, 140 and now let's see what's popping up nothing well you have to define the color of the line so I'm gonna write stroke is equal to black and so we're gonna have a black line somewhere on the screen there you go there's your line now let's say we want to make the line a bit thicker well I can write stroke width is equal to 14 now there you go there's my line it's a little bit thicker and if I think that's too thick, I can make it eight. Great, now let's put some text. Now text is written as such, and we can put some text here like, hi, my name is Rifa, and that's gonna show up somewhere, but it doesn't. 
So you have to define a couple of properties. First, we have to say not color, but fill equals black. Now, if that doesn't show up, now let's try color. And so now hopefully it'll show up, but it doesn't. Why not? We have to define the X and Y coordinates of our text, because just like any other element, it's gonna have a position. So let's make the position 400 by, um, by 170. 170 is a fine number and hopefully you'll see the text but now you'll see that the size of our SVG element is blocking the rest of our text so we have to move our text a little bit to the west or we have to make our SVG element a bit bigger so there you go hopefully extending our element see it displays the text now of course I can try other things with the text variable uh, with the text element I can say hi um, I like ketchup and now let's say you want a different color well you can write color is equal to gray if you want to also put the position you can write X is equal to 400 Y is equal to 200 hopefully it will show up now and now you can see it's being blocked um, let's move it up a bit I'll make it a 100 but now it's going to be blocked by the ellipse so what can we do well we can do a couple of things instead of color you have to write fill by the way so there you go there it is rendered now the reason you see the text in front of the ellipse is because the text is rendered after the ellipse because the text is coded after the ellipse on the other hand we can also change the fill of the ellipse right we can write um, fill opacity I do believe and we can put a number 0.5 and that's gonna make it like a, a different color as you can see let's say I make it 8 and that's gonna change the color make it darker um, and of course we can change the fill as well we can make the fill something else we can change it to I don't know 20 100 uh, 250 I don't know what color that is apparently it's it's blue what if I type RGBA comma 0.5 now this may not be standard but you can indeed see that it works it makes the makes the ellipse uh, more transparent and I can make it closer to 0 if I want it to be more transparent and closer to 1 if I want it to be less transparent so let's make it 0.3 and of course I can change the size of my text I can write font size is equal to 24 24 is a good good size in my experience and um, that's that's about it folks uh, you can also change the color of any of these other elements so let's make it a bit colorful um, I'll make the fill of my circle let's make it red so since it's RGB we'll make it look like this so my circle should be red okay kind of red and of course it's only half red because my opacity is 0 0.5 I can make my line a different color first let me make my rectangle a different color i'll write the fill is equal to rgba red green blue alpha and let's make it green so 255 0, 0 0.5 and hopefully you'll see a green rectangle and finally let's make um let's make our line a bit nicer i'm going to write the x one of our line let's put the y one of our line a bit uh, more down let's make it 190 and let's give our our uh, our line a, a different color and let's make this maybe 170 that's gonna bring it closer to this text um, let's make it even closer to that that text and let's drop our Y value a bit so actually dropping our Y value means we have to make it uh, higher so there you go there's our Y value and uh, there you go there's a the line and we can make it bigger if you want a bigger line you can certainly make it longer uh, there you go there's your longer line uh, you can make it 80 to make the slope higher or a bigger number if you want to decrease the slope more uh, but anyway that's that's pretty much it uh, you can make this 130 maybe I'd like to make it go between the two uh, pieces of text and maybe I can change the color here to let's make it uh, purple who knows if that's supported but 
if it is then we can have variety there you go there you go folks and that's it to drawing shapes in programming with svg thanks for watching this episode we'll check you out next time